Hi, it's Joanne from Expanding Joy, and welcome back to my video series. I had a little sidetrack there for a while, but I'm back in business and I am thrilled to be here again. So today I wanted to talk about, um, the, from my experience, the number one thing that you need to create your happiest life ever, to have a life that is feels like freedom and full of joy. And that number one thing is your reconnection to your intuition. Back to listening to your inner wisdom, your own guidance system. That is the number one thing. So look at it this way. If you were going to plug into your GPS in your car that you wanted to go from Vancouver to Las Vegas, no matter who's driving that car, the GPS is going to give you the same directions on how to get there. It's going to lay it all out. It's going to tell you how long it takes. It's going to give you all the details. But that doesn't matter who's driving the car. There's no personalization. Your intuition, your inner wisdom is going to be looking after your personalized trip. It's going to be telling you, it's going to be aware of the opportunities for contribution for growing, for collaborating. It's gonna make sure that you meet the right people, that you avoid pitfalls, that you really take a personalized journey that's gonna be the best possible journey for you alone. Now, listening to our inner wisdom is simple, but not always easy. We've kind of been growing out of it. As young children, we're very in touch with our intuition and our wisdom, and we all have it. That's not a question. If you think you do not have inner guidance, you're just not listening to it, and you can't hear it anymore. But it is there. And for me, that is the number one thing to have a life of expanding joy. Tomorrow, we'll be talking about how to listen to your wisdom, how to recognize that little voice in your head. And it is that soft, quiet voice that has the wisdom and the power to transform your life. It's not that loud, you can't do it, this is too out of your reach, you're not enough, who do you think you are? That's not the voice in your head to listen to. Trust me, that is not your intuition. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about how to get in touch with that inner wisdom, how to listen to and encourage and get that voice to be a little bit louder and easier to recognize. So the number one thing in a life of joy and happiness is listening to your inner wisdom, your intuition. Thanks and we'll see you all tomorrow.